You know, maybe you deserve a few years inside. It's called living in the real world, where things don't necessarily end up happily ever after. Well, then that's nowhere the rest of us know. Paying back handers to keep people's mouths shut. Yeah, yeah, because it's such a terrible thing, isn't it? Fighting to protect our future. No, this is about covering up a serious crime to protect your bank balance. No one will ever find out. We well, see, that's the real difference between us. I've got a thing called a conscience. OK. Let's have a compromise. So now you do a deal with me over the body. Great. We wait until the festival is over, and then we bring the police in. Just forget it's there. Not lose a minute's sleep. Leave me to do the worrying. Right, well then, I would like you to explain how you're going to suddenly see through concrete. All right! Then have me arrested! But if you do have a conscience, you'll see I did it for us. Not if we could be about to lose everything. You're right, you know, this is about my bank balance. Because this will pay for a whole new way of life. I think this is where you offer me my backhander. We could take a year off. You know, we could concentrate on me and you. We could even have time to do IVF. After covering up a dead body, there is no way I would bring a child of yours into this world. So, tomorrow Cameron shall be sporting this little number for that special occasion. Which time, my dear? Mm, this one. It's also known as grovelling to the bank manager. <sighs> it's better than the pinstripe, isn't it? Yep. Not only will they lend us shed loads of cash, they'll so not be able to keep their mitts up yet. <laughs> if I could squeeze past to get my coffee. <laughs> you must be getting excited, Diane, in Australia around the corner. Try looking at my jobs to-do list. I'll sit back and celebrate once I'm on that plane. Aw, oh, send us some photos from Aussieland. We can put up a Diane corner. As long as it's not behind the dartboard. Yeah, I was thinking about getting rid of that. Makes the place look like an old man's pub. Don't go changing too much. Cheesing off the regulars. Oh, no, I've got this place just perfect. There's just a couple of things I might change. I'd rather you wait till I'm out the door. Aw, oh, hi, Gemma. Yeah, not nice when someone lets you down, is it? My office, now! Back to work, all of you. Black coffee and a rinse sink bucket. What more could a girl desire? Must be Britain's biggest sweetheart. Mm, lousy pig, really. Just good at hiding it. First bloke never hold me hair back, white less spew. Have you seen dice carrots in my sleep? Stick the bucket on me head, man. See if you're looking at a sad, pathetic screw-up. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Debbie checking what I've got to so... I've got loser in me DNA. Happily pumping through me veins. Well, I might not be king of much round here, but if you want a loser contest... Mm. Something marries to Shaz. Talk about getting stuck in on my wedding night. It even gets as far as the cake. The saddle's going up there, like. Mm, then there's Ali. Be bad enough just turning her against me. And now she can't face the entire male species. Call yourself a loser. Try making a proper prat of yourself. That's the thing. I always thought you were a right here, but. Right. It's called Operation Cheering Your Missus Up. Katie's fine. There isn't a problem. Oh, right. Well, she didn't seem too chipper before. Listen, we're actually quite busy, so if you wouldn't mind. 
Oh, good to see you, Chaz. Could do the nutter. It's perfect timing, as always. Still doesn't seem too chipper to me. Look, you don't have to say it. I know I've crossed the line. I couldn't be more sorry. All you care about is not getting caught. The joys of being married to Declan. Then it's best mate riding to the rescue. Not when it comes to this one. Whatever it is, babe, I'm here for you. But don't tempt me because it really will spill out and this isn't something you want to hear. Declan's done the dirty behind your back. Well, not that you sound too surprised. You've no idea how bad this one is. This is enough to tear our marriage apart. Ah, have you time for a word? Well, better make it sharpish. Well, it's our bell. I'm sensing a ticking off here. Well, it's the Sean business. Poor lass is, well, more than outgrown. Well, it sounds like you're pointing the finger at me. Oh, no, of course not. But I, I know that she's been bending your ear lately. Well, Belle's family have been there for her. Oh, yeah. if you are half the mechanic you are at Skyvin. Oh, Kenny's ill, she's been chucking up all over. Oh, all oh, right. Well, let's hope it turns into something more serious and she slips into a coma or something. Because I'm 20 minutes late? No, because that alky waste of space nearly torched my children to a crisp. I was about to say, uh, our bell is not as tough as you. If this is you telling me to keep my nose out... Well, until it calms down, stop her getting any more lumber. You can forget me walking away from Belle. I know how bad it hurts when your family turn their back. <sighs> yeah, it wouldn't hurt so much if things weren't great between us, but they are. It doesn't matter how perfect things seem, he still goes behind my back. Well, then, he's been cheating on you with... You make it sound like he's having a good affair. That's not what he's up to. No. It's to do with the festival. It's just to do with work. Yes. Jazz, you don't get it. This has to be the worst thing he's ever done. And it's enough to split you two up? It all depends on what I decide. Right. Well, I'd best leave you to get your head round it all. D-Day at the bank tomorrow, innit? I've got to get home and practice me grovelling face in front of the mirror. I'll see you soon. Right. Um, I need to grab hold of Vanessa. You've no chance. She's got about three calls to get through. I don't know if that's Pilates. I wouldn't bother. Oh, I'm still getting used to the workouts. Well, this arrived while you were out. Oh, wonder where that got to. Titchy stand by guy, let Nearly just stuck my foot well and truly in it. Okay, well, let's start with a deep breath. <sighs> I marched into the mother of all bus stops. Charity's come home to roost. Well, yes, either great minds or complete prats, because that's the wrong conclusion I just jumped to. And they were in the middle of a different argument. <sighs> it's a good job you changed your mind about working for him. Declan's pulled some festival stunt, but then when Katie breaks down, she says he's gone behind her back and... And you dive straight in. I might just have blagged my way through it. But if I had any skin on my teeth... Well, maybe it's about time you put her out of her misery. <sighs> Looks like it's over anyway. Please tell me you couldn't be that cruel. Just sticking the truth on the board. Try acting ashamed then, eh? Because I'm ashamed to admit you're one of mine. Showing the poor lass up in front of the whole school. Maybe she should keep her legs crossed. Oh. Uh, as you can see, it's not just the graffiti, it's, it's Belle's attitude to go with it. I'm not making excuses for her. I'm suspending Belle for the rest of the week. Right, well, stop having a go and let me get out of here. Look, you sit there. Keep your trap shut and show some respect. We'll review this situation in a few days, but the least I expect is an apology to Gemma. What, me apologise because she went behind my back? Have you no shame at all? You come here. I'm sorry, Mr Duggan. Well, 
Well, I don't see any suitcases. Well, before I start packing, I thought I'd see what you've been hiding first. Well, I'm, I'm going to need a cracking big clue. But the way you asked who we've been cheating with, it sounded like you'd been waiting for it. Well, that's cos Declan's got a PhD in letting you down. Oh, come on, Chaz. But how long have we been mates, yeah? I know when you're hiding something. And the look on your face when I said it wasn't an affair. Declan's got you all wound up, babe. You're not thinking straight. But this is my whole life you're playing with whether to walk away from my marriage and my home. Well, unless you want me making stuff up. But please, Chaz, you know everything I've been through with Declan. If you know anything, you have to tell me. Look, it... <sighs> Meaning it's an affair? From what I heard, it was just a one-night stand. I don't care how many times, just tell me who. No, it's only going to make things worse. No, I'm not going to ask you again. Charles, I spit it out! Charity. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe what a sad, pathetic girl. There's no point torturing yourself. If after everything we've been through, we just sleep with somebody else. <laughs> the charity was there the night I got back. But I was too busy trying to make it up with him. It's not your fault Declan's so good at covering his own backside. Well, how long have you known? Hey? A couple of months. So you have known all that time and you just let me carry on. That is not being a best mate. Felt so lousy. <laughs> no, all I've done is walk around like a mug. I've even laid on a dinner party for the two of them. I was desperate to say. It's not like I couldn't see there was a problem. You seem to be making such a go of things. You know, Jacqueline doesn't even let me have a go at Jay. Then why is Jay covering for them? Jazz, I've never done anything wrong to him. Babe, go and get your stuff and move in here. <sighs> I don't really have much choice, do I? I can't go back there. Make me feel better. <sighs> no. I'm not ready to move out. Not yet. Don't think Declan is getting away that easy. I am not going to stop until he is well and truly ruined. You're going to act like nothing's happened? For now. Yeah, I'm going to be all smiles as I stick the knife in. Oh, recorded delivery for you. Oh, thanks. Oh, listen, I'm completely behind you on keeping that dartboard. Let's just get this lawn sorted first. Oh, we're pretty much home and dry. What can I get you, love? It's Katie not been in. Is there a problem? I just want to get a hold of my wife, OK? All right, well, I haven't seen it. It's just you look like a man who's just had a row. No, he didn't ask us if we'd seen Katie. Cos he knows we could still drop him in it. Mm, can't say I'm not tempted. Wipe that smugness off his face. No, I don't really want to think about that. Bad news. Not only can I not see my boy, she's now stopped all official contact. She won't even let him read my letters. Can't you just try talking to her again? Well, what's the point? Especially if someone's already put the poison in. Hey, Sarah. What are you having? Uh, to orange juices, please. Cameron didn't look too happy. Sounds like Anna's gone to war. She's not allowing any contact at all with the boys. You can't even write to them. Oh. Well, there's no need to look at me. I just told her the truth. <laughs> See? That's the Rona Goskirk I know and love to bits. Mm. Once I'd have a chance to get my breath back. I'm sorry, there's no way that's an handbag. Oh, no, that's 
That's just one or two bits that I ordered. Such as? It's nothing to bother about. It's, it's... No, no, just... You won't mind if I have a look? No, no, no. no. Uh, uh, somebody's birthday's coming up. <laughs> Is it a surprise present? Well, it was meant to be. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry, I've, I've no idea what it is. Although, package that size, I'm thinking... jewellery? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Let me have a little shower. No, no, no. One more word and I'm going to send it back. I'm going to get a shower then. Make sure you hide it well. Hey! Oh, sorry. Been stuck on a call. Oh, yeah, I was ready for jumping in the car to come and find you. Thought you'd be chewing your nails off. Oh, well, I'm, not, I'm not quite that bad. It's these meetings, yeah, you know, I know I've not been to many, but they're really helping me cope. Then I couldn't be more proud. Um, I dash straight in. I better get my gear from the car. What are you doing here? Hi. Right, I need a word with Jay as well. Yeah, I, I'm just about to snip out, unfortunately. Well, then it'll have to wait. Look, I've been thinking about you guys and this stupid fallout. Right, it's time we got it sorted. Does Declan know you're here? Before I say anything, I don't want any excuses. Depends what it is. Right, come to this do tomorrow night. We're throwing this big drinks party thing. Declan's trying to chat up some festival investors. He's sent you around to invite us. All I know is he'd love to get things back to how they were. Yeah, I've got a meeting. What well, hard luck, Jay. You're going to have to cancel. It's been in the diary for months. I miss having you guys around as well. This is a chance to clear the air. You know, we can all get back to being mates. We'll do our best. Great. Right, well, I'll see you there at eight. And don't let me have to come and find you. Bye. Like we don't really have a choice. I feel uh, better for a wash and a brush. Mm. You'd best better my pit for the night. You get more huggable by the minute, you. Uh, it's all part of the dance service. You do enough know how to be nice to me. Yeah, well, I. Uh... I keep telling you about a cracking girl, yeah, I don't I? Well, how about you prove it then? Look, you're, uh, you're half caught, you're failing down, and I'm too much of a mug to take advantage. Look, this isn't a good idea, is it? After. I don't suppose Gemma feels any better. My daughter's a total wreck. Sobbing her right out, screaming how her life's over. We couldn't be more ashamed. Dads are supposed to be there for their daughters. But I can't lie and say the old school's not laughing. Don't think Belle's going to get away with this. Looks like she was enjoying herself. Maybe I should go explain how she screwed up my daughter's life. Let's just leave her locked in the bedroom. Then I'll tell the lot of you. Don't pick on my daughter again, or else. You've ever right to come here sounding off. That's why I'm fighting this all the way. I'll not stop until she's thrown out of school for good. Oh, look, can't we just talk about this? I've been driving, bringing round. 
After what you've asked me to do, don't moan at having to wait. Are you going to put me out of my misery? I could strangle you. The way you went about it. But you've decided to keep quiet. Well, it's the thought of you being led away in handcuffs. There's no way I could do that to you. Babe, I promise I will make it up to you. You can't choose who you fall in love with. I'll tell you one thing. I don't deserve you. Look, let's celebrate tomorrow night. Mix business with pleasure. Let our hair down at this party. I've got a feeling it's going to be quite a night. A horrible past is revealed for one canine arrival at Battersea next. Paul O'Grady's For the Love of Dogs on its way. Then eight children living at home, six of them are over 18. That's got to be tough. Happy Families continues at nine.